my name is Sarah Stoltzfus and I am on the Refresh uh, team. And so I am sharing a little bit of my story with you. Be the Need is a program that was created to ensure that each child throughout the summer does not go without a lunch. The meal that is provided to them for free and we deliver it to them uh, on, a, on a daily basis throughout the summer. Feed the Needs started um, a couple of months ago. I went through a process of redefining myself and sort of restructuring my life. I was feeling um, unfulfilled and overwhelmed. And so I just started to make more space with God. And in that, uh, one of the things that I felt I needed to do was start a Bible study in my home. And the Lord was very clear on it not being about numbers, but about specific people. And so um, I invited a couple of friends to join me. We started our Bible study. And through that, we built our friendship and our faith. And um, we were able to attend a conference. Um, it's a Pink Impact Conference through Gateway Church. So we went to the conference and the title was Make Your Mark and we just felt like the Lord was stirring something in our hearts. After the conference, we met one more time and my friend Jennifer had worked for a, or volunteered for a lunch program in Anna community just north of us. And she, this was something on her heart um, for about a year that we felt like Melissa did not have anything like this. And this was an opportunity for us to step up in faith and create something for our community. normal day in the summer with Be The Need is we are serving 105 children a day, currently providing lunches, and we have uh, volunteers that show up at a local church in our community that has volunteered their space for us to be able to prepare these sandwiches. And it has a sandwich, two snacks. The children also receive a toy and uh, something that says, you know, they're cared for, they're loved for, Jesus loves them. And one of the important things about Feed the Need is that we, uh, the children also come alongside us and decorate the bags. And I feel like that's a huge part of Feed the Need because it is us expressing, the kids expressing how much they are loved and cared for. And um, it's just something we can all do as a community and as a family together. For me, Feed the Need showed me that um, I needed to step outside of my comfort zone and um, uh, do something that made me uncomfortable. I like being in my little box and I like to be happy and comfortable and not have to, uh, you know, worry about what's going to happen. And so I felt like whenever we did this that it showed me that um, he was going to take care of everything and he was going to uh, supply everything that we needed and it, uh, all we had to do was say yes, and he um, took care of the rest. And I feel like, um, you know, I worried at the beginning about my ability or inability to be able to handle it. And I feel like toward the end, he showed me that it's more about his ability and it's not about me. And mm -hmm. once we said yes, I feel like he took care of the rest. Mm -hmm. So when both of you approached me at the park with your idea, I don't think any of us knew what that was going to look like. I just knew that God had laid it on your hearts to serve others, and I knew you, so I knew that I was all in, no matter what you wanted to do. I would say um, to the woman who feels a nudge to do something that just, just do it, just take the leap and do it if you feel it's something God's calling you to do, that He'll provide the rest. And just say yes, be brave. I would say God does not call the equipped, but he does equip the called. And that's exactly what he did with us. I mean, I don't think any of us were prepared for what the summer held, but he put it all together. So to the woman that's out there watching this and doubting herself on whether or not she is capable of doing something that God has asked her to do, I would just say he does all things for good. And, you know, we have to stop believing the lies and disqualifying ourselves and, and just say yes and just do it. 
uh, regardless. My name is Sarah Solsfus. I'm a co-founder of Feed the Needs.